Welcome everyone, I'm Deronda with Foods 101. Today I'm showing you how to make these thumb print cookies. These are absolutely excellent for the holidays. Everyone loves them, so I'm going to give you a head start on how to make them. Now the ingredients you are going to need for this cookie is one cup of all-purpose flour, one-fourth of a cup of apricot preserves. If you'd like to use strawberry or blackberry, you may. That'll be up to you. I've got one and a half cups of chopped pecans. You may use walnuts or peanuts. Now I've used a food processor to get it into this texture. You're going to need one egg, a pinch of salt, one-fourth of a cup of packed brown sugar, one-half cup of unsalted butter, or you would know it as a stick of butter. So let me show you how we're going to get this cookie together. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to crack the egg open. We're going to separate the white from the yolk. We're going to put the white in a small mixing bowl and we're going to put the yolk over here in the bowl we're going to make our cookie dough in. Now with a fork you're going to beat this until it's foamy. Set it off to the side. With the egg yolk we're going to add the butter and the brown sugar along with the pinch of salt and we're going to give this a nice beating till it's smooth and creamy. Once you get this nice, smooth and creamy, you're going to add all your flour. Now remember, I'm only making half the batch of dough and the recipe can be found below in the description box of this video. And you want to give this a nice mixing till it's well incorporated. The dough is completed. Now we're going to cover it, let it rest, put it in the refrigerator for the next 30 minutes before we roll it into our cookie balls. I'm just rolling the, um, cookie dough into one inch balls and over here is our frothy egg white and that took me about whoops that took me about three minutes to get it frothy like that and we're going to dip the cookie ball into the egg white twirl it around now I like using a fork it's a lot easier and then we're going to just dip it into the crushed pecans that I'm using today all right now, once you get this completed, you just roll it again so you can tuck those nuts down in there and put it over here on a cookie sheet. All right, and now we'll start with this one. And continue doing this until you get all of your cookie balls dipped in the egg whites and then rolled in your chopped nuts. And next, I'll come back and show you how to add the apricot preserves. I have a dozen of my cookies rolled out and I'm going to take the back of a half of the teaspoon measuring teaspoon and I'm going to make a little well on the top of each cookie and at this point you want your oven preheating to 350 degrees Fahrenheit because these are going to bake for eight minutes before we fill them with our apricot preserves. The cookies have baked for about eight minutes and now I'm filling the top with about a half a teaspoon of the preserves. And now these are going to go back in the oven for another eight minutes for its final cooking process. And I'll be back to let you know how they taste. Here's our beautiful thumbprint cookies. Absolutely beautiful and my whole home smells absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna tear one of these apart I'm going to show you what it looks like on the inside. It's sort of like a shortbread um, cookie with just an apricot preserve on the top. Got to give it a try. Mmm. Very light, buttery. Mmm. Mmm. Yum. Got a punch of that apricot preserves. It just really pulls this cookie together. And let me tell you, it's a favorite in our home, and Santa absolutely loves them. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Hope y'all get in your kitchen and give these a try. They're absolutely delicious. Until next time, I'm Gerardo with Foods 101. Merry Christmas.